Let's get right to it. Now, I'm not sure who or how they came up with this 85% number, but it doesn't matter. The true number is really irrelevant. The truth is most faker science projects fail. Now, there are a plethora of reasons why projects might fail, but the number one isn't going to surprise anyone who watches this channel. Most of these projects fail because companies have put academics in positions they aren't qualified for. We call this technical debt. The faker science experiment has failed miserably for companies and it's cost them billions. Now, I don't have any sympathy for these companies. They hire these ill-qualified, technically inept academics, and that means they should shoulder a large part of the blame. Now, for those who want to argue and place the blame everywhere else but the faker scientists, I'll ask you this. Why do 90% of all BI projects succeed? I mean, machine learning and BI are basically the same thing. The success rate is almost identical to the failure rate for faker science projects. Again, if you watch my videos, you know the answer. BI and machine learning are all about data. If you don't have data skills, then you're in trouble and your project is likely going to fail. Now, there are other reasons for these failures. I've spoken with companies that don't understand machine learning. When this happens, it's up to me to explain it to them. If they don't get it, I move on to the next job. For example, if I ask someone, what kind of predictions are you looking for your machine learning models to make? And the company says, we aren't sure. We just don't want to miss out on the AI revolution. That answer tells you the company is clueless and you should run as fast as you can away from that job. As a skilled machine learning engineer, it's up to you to help companies understand reality from fiction. Why can't most faker scientists do that? Because most have never worked for any length of time in the real world, and most simply don't have the data skills to do the job in the real world. Technical debt is real, and it's the sole reason there are hundreds of thousands of roles in the data space that aren't being filled, and they're not going to be filled anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. And while you're at it, I'd start learning some data skills.